very good evening to all of you i engineer amritras welcome you all on six art digital platform the today's topic is a very important and very funny topic a very amazing topic that is correlated with the higher classes also in all competition examination from this chapter the question is i the name of the chapter it is called as a acid base and salt acid base and salt so first of all we will discuss what do you understand by acid what do you understand by base and what do you understand by salt so before introduction i will let us introduce with the three scientists the three scientists are as follows the first scientist called arhenius second scientist is bronsted lorry and the last scientist that is called lewis what i say there are three types of scientists which have given the idea which have given the concept regarding acid base and salt and the scientists are as follows number one arhenius number one arhenius and sir arhenius it is called as a arhenius is called as a father of acid base and salt so it's a very important he sir arhenius is a called as a father daddy of acid base and salt so there are three scientists the first is called arhenius second is called bronsted lorry bronsted dory nahi lorry and third but the last one is called lewis now all the scientists have given the proposal have given the idea given the concept related to acid base and salt so we write here concept arhenius concept bronsted lorry concept and the last is called lewis concept now before understanding this concept we have to be known with the a term the name of the term it is called as a aqueous aqueous sir when i say aqueous solution i mean to say water solution when i mention the word aqueous solution it means water solution and sir when i say non aqueous solution to sir the solution beside water i mean to say that water ke alawa koi solution hoga use kahenge non aqueous kya bolenge non aqueous like carbon tetrachloride solution like benzene solution these are not called water solution these are not called aqueous solution but it is called as a non aqueous but when i talk about the water solution it is called as a aqueous solution now arrhenius given the concept related to acid that is sir when we pour when we put an acid in aqueous solution when we pour when we put an acid in aqueous solution it gives hydrogen ion what i say ki sir when we put acid in aqueous solution aqueous solution then it liberates it gives it emits hydrogen ion hydrogen ion then according to the arrhenius according to the arrhenius concept ki sir when we pour when we put an acid in an aqueous solution you have to be be careful regarding the grammar also because in class in your class examination there is a question related to english that is called aspartic error ki sir when we put an acid in aqueous solution it liberates or emits h plus ion then sir such is called an acid or sir when we put a base in an aqueous solution when we put a base in aqueous solution then it will give oh minus ion i mean to say that ki sir when it gives oh minus ion then it is called base according to arrhenius when we put an acid in aqueous solution it gives hydrogen ion that is acid and sir there is a difference between oh and oh minus when i mention the word oh that is called hydroxide but when mention about mention the word oh minus this is not called hydroxide but this is called hydroxyl what i say hydroxyl but when sun oh it is called hydroxide now and hence arrhenius it is called as a father of acid base and salt now the second scientist had given the idea had given the concept had given the proposal regarding acid base and salt that is ki sir acid is a proton donor acid is a proton donor acid is a proton donor and sir base is according to our bronsted lorry base is a proton acceptor proton acceptor so till now we have a study about the two scientists related to acid base and salt sir arrhenius said that sir when we put an acid in aqueous solution it gives hydrogen ion 
or sorry regarding base when we put a base in aqueous solution it give hydroxyl ion and sir second scientist called Bronsted Lowry sir according to him he sir when an acid is a proton donor a base is a proton acceptor and the last that is called Lewis before Lewis concept we have to be be careful ki sir what is bonded pair and what is lone pair ki sir if the electron participate in the bond formation if electron participate in the bond formation that is called bonded pair and beside the bonded pair electron that is called a lone pair what i say ki sir if a electron does not participate if electron does not participate in the bond formation, then it is called lone pair. What is a lone pair? And the electron which participate in the bond formation, it is called a bonded pair. Bonded pair. So, sir, according to Lewis, acid is an electron acceptor. Electron lone pair acceptor. Electron lone pair acceptor. And base is an electron lone pair donor. Electron lone pair donor. Now, till now we have a study about the two term. One is the aqueous and non aqueous. Sir, aqueous solution is called water solution. And you have to keep one thing in your mind. Sir, when sodium chloride is with water, this is called brine. This is called brine solution. If somebody asks, what do you understand by brine? This is generally asked in your examination. Yes, sir. NaCl plus H2O, I mean to say that, sir, aqueous solution of sodium chloride, that is called a brine, B-R-I-N-E. And sir, water solution, it is called aqueous solution. And sir, beside water, that is called non-aqueous solution, like carbon tetrachloride, CCl4, and benzene, C6S6. Benzene, you can write like this in a structural form. And it can also be written this way. Double alternate bond. Double alternate bond. This is called benzene. Now, I recall the what we have studied till now. Okay, sir, Arrhenius it is called as a father of acid and base salt. Sir, Arrhenius concept regarding acid. Okay, sir, when we put an acid in aqueous solution, it gives hydrogen ion. When we put a base in aqueous solution, it OH minus ion. Second scientist, Bronsted Lowry. Sir, according to Bronsted Lowry, acid is a proton donor, base is proton acceptor. Sir, Lewis concept, acid is electron lone pair acceptor, and we I justify the word lone pair. Ki, sir, the electron which participate in the bond formation, electron which participate in the bond formation is called bonded pair. For example, I can justify yourself. Ki, sir, for example, Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. Sir, hydrogen having atomic number one, so it has one electron like this here. here. Oxygen is atomic number seven. Its outermost orbit, there are two, five, five electrons. So, like this. Oxygen having atomic number six, two, four, two, four. So, sir, here the, we arrange the electron. The electron which are arranged in the Lewis structure, that electron is called valence electron. So the outermost orbit which have electron, that will be arranged here, that will be accommodated here. And nitrogen having atomic number 7, so uh, valence electron is total is 5. Now you can see, okay, sir, these two pair of electron participate in the bond. So it is called bonded electron. So it is called bonded electron and sir the electron which does not participate in the bond formation these electron are called a lone pair these are called lone pair these are called bonded pair here also sir this three electron in nitrogen they participate in the bond formation so it is called bonded pair that is called bonded pair electron and these are electron which do not part in the they are called lone pair lone pair electron so now i try my best to justify Sir, what is lone pair electron and what is the bonded pair electron? And you also keep one thing in your mind. Sir, when there is a single bond like this, it has one sigma bond. When I say double bond, one sigma, one pi. When I say triple bond, one sigma, two pi. And sir, sigma bond is a strong than pi bond. Sigma bond is a stronger than pi bond. So till now we have a study about the concept given related to three scientists, Arrhenius, 
ब्रॉस्टेड लॉरी एंड लुइस नाउ आई विल स्टडी कि सर व्हाट डू अंडरस्टैंड बाय एसिड सर एसिड इज अ वर्ड व्हिच इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम द लैटिन वर्ड एसिडस एसिड इज अ वर्ड व्हिच इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम लैटिन वर्ड एसिडस इट मींस सॉर इन टेस्ट नाउ सेकंड सर एसिड हैज फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन आई मीन टू से एसिड हैज मोबाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन सो व्हेन देयर इज अ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन व्हेन देयर इज अ मोबाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन then it can conduct electricity so acid is a conductor of electricity or heat now third point ki sir acid having ph value less than 7 fourth point sir acid having ph value less than 7 and acid change the litmus paper red to blue to red now the second term comes a very important topic that is called pH scale that is called. If you want to take the screenshot till now, if you have any doubt related to this topic, you can ask. I have given just the brief history related to acid basal salt given by the three scientists Arrhenius, Brosted, and Lewis. Now, what I say in introduction, is sir, acid is a word which is derived from acidus, which is derived from acidus. This means sour in taste. now ki sir if according to the ph scale according to the ph scale acid having ph value less than 7 so the next topic it is called as a ph scale now scientist who have invented this ph scale is called sorensen in the year 1909 now sir ph scale having numbering from 0 to 14 0 to 14 and the between that 7 if in the examination question is asked sir ph scale lies between you will say 0 to 14 sir having 7 it is a neutral salt less than 7 it is called acid and more than 7 it is called base so when i move towards this 0 then acidity will be key increase or sir ph less than 7 acid pH more than seven is called base, and sir at seven it is called neutral. It is called salt. And sir, mathematically according to the examination, you can define that sir pH scale means it is negative, negative, logarithmic, logarithmic concentration of hydrogen ion, concentration of hydrogen ion. that is called as a ph scale now this is called theory now how we can define ph scale in mathematically so you can write ph scale what i say negative i say negative logarithmic the log concentration like this concentration is symbol of concentration of which ion hydrogen ion so sir ph scale mathematically can be defined minus log concentration h plus ion or in theoretically it we can define it is a negative logarithmic of concentration of hydrogen ion it is called ph scale now in sir ph scale it has two word one is the p and second is h and sir this word p it is called as a potent it is called as a potent and sir this word is called not latin not greek but it is a german word it is called as a german word and sir potent means power and hydrogen means hydrogen ion so sir till now we have to study ki sir ph scale having ph less than 7 it is called acid when we proceed to the zero acidity will increase and when ph more than 7 it is called base when we proceed to our 14 towards 14 the basicity will increase at 7 it is called neutral if somebody asks who have this invented ph scale you will say sorensen in which year 1909 sir in ph scale p is which word whether it's greek whether it's latin whether it's german you will say german word sir ph means p means potent h means hydrogen ion now how we can define theoretically in science sir it is a neg negative logarithmic of concentration of hydrogen ion that is called ph scale it can be mathematically minus log concentration hydrogen ion now this all these things about the ph scale now sir what are the important acid related to this chapter acid base salt which are asked in the examination number of times and why it is so important so i will discuss some important formula related to acid so first of all i say 
HCl. This is called hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. And this is sir, a strong acid having pH value between 1 and 2. And sir, why it is called a strong? That will I will discuss on the parameters in which we classify the acid. Second is called H2SO4. That is called sulfuric acid. That is called sulfuric acid. When I say H2SO3, when there is a more oxygen, then suffix is called ic. When there is a less oxygen compared to 4, here is 3, then we have to use the suffix ux. That is called sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid. When I say HNO3, this is called nitric acid. Nitric acid. When I say HNO2, this is called nitrous acid. Nitrous acid. When I say H2CO3, it is called carbonic acid. Carbonic acid. When I say H3PO4, H3PO4, this is called phosphoric acid. When I say HCOH, this is called methanoic acid. Its common name is formic acid. When I say CH3COH, it is called ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. It is also called a acetic acid. And when I say COOH whole 2, then it is called oxalic acid. And when I say H3BO3, it is called boric acid. So these are the some important acid which are asked in the examination number of time. And you have to use when you will solve the important topic of acid. That is called chemical properties of acid. So sir, till now we have a study. Ki, sir, acid is a word which derived from Latin word acidus, it means sour in taste. And sir, acid, its taste is sour in taste. And sir, acid, it conduct electricity because it get ionized. Or sir, it has free electron. It conducts electricity. And sir, acid having pH value, less than 7. Then now, the one other topic is a start. The name of the topic is pH scale. Sir, this pH scale, it is given by the scientist, the name of the scientist called Sorensen, in the year 1909. And sir, pH scale, P it is a Latin, it, P it is a German word. P it is a German word. It is called potent. It means pa. And sir, when we say pH scale, numbering has start from 0 and last is 14. And between 7, that is called neutral. And more than 7, it is called base. And less than 7, it is called acid. And mathematically, it is defined. It is a negative logarithmic concentration of hydrogen ion. That is called minus log H. That is called a pH scale. And sir, these are the important formula which are used number of times when we will study the chemical properties of acid. The first is called, and sir, H2SO4 it is also called a wild vitrol. There are three types of vitrol that I will discuss in the chapter metals and non-metal in your standard. One is called CuSO4, 5H2O, FeSO4, 7H2O, ZnSO4, 7H2O. Sir, this is called copper sulfate pentahydrated, iron sulfate decaheptahydrated, a zinc sulfate heptahydrated. Now, Ki sir, copper sulfate, it is called a blue vitrol. Iron sulfate, it is called a green vitrol. And sir, ZnSO4, 7H2O, it is called white vitrol. In the same way, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, it is called a wild vitrol. So you have to remember all these vitrol. There are four. One is related to sulfuric acid and three are related to salt. So I discussed here earlier also. Ki sir, CuSO4, 5H2O, blue vitrol, that is copper sulfate. FeSO4, 7H2O, it is called green vitrol. 
and sir genesis for 72 it is called white vitriol and h2so4 it is also called as a king of acid king of acid now one very important question ask in short question and long question both ki sir when we feel appetite when feel we hungry and we don't take the food if your this habit is get continue or progressive then lot of acidity is formed in your stomach i mean to say that a large number of hydrochloric acid is secreted and due to that there is a peptic ulcer in your stomach so how we can nullify when there is a acidic pain or the stomach pain in our stomach sir at the particular moment of the time in our body in a stomach there is a gastric gland in a stomach there is a gastric gland in gastric gland it is a gastric juice in gastric juice there is a hydrochloric acid which is a strong acid it is also called a muriatic acid so ki sir how we can nullify how can we knock out this pain from our stomach so sir this is acid hydrochloric acid acid will react with the acid will react with the anti acid i mean to say that sir base anti acid mane base i mean to say anti acid mane acid anti acid it means that ki sir which having properties opposite to the acid that is called as a base that is called so we will take magnesium hydroxide and common name of magnesium hydroxide it is called milk of magnesia there are four which are common in a base in which general common name is as one is the cao that is called calcium oxide quick lime caoh ka whole two calcium hydroxide select lime caco3 calcium carbonate marble mgoh ka whole two that is called as milk of magnesia magnesium hydroxide then we will discuss about the pop plaster of paris then we will study borax na2 before 7 then we will study alum that is called hindi pitkiri that is called k2so4 al2so4 in dot 24h2o then we will study gypsum then we will study plaster of paris and then we will study sodium hydrogen carbonate and then we will study sodium carbonate these are the important thing that we will study so till now we have a study about the introduction we will study about the formula of acid now the next topic we will study is a classification of acid on different parameter and next topic source of acid now important topic related to acid based salt that is called classification of acid on different parameters so we have to be classified on five, five parameters the first that is called on the basis of source so the acid is classified on the basis of source in two parts two parts two kinds that is called organic acid and second is called inorganic acid so the organic acids are those acid which are obtained from plant and animals so those who are obtained from plants and animals they are called the weak acid they are called org organic acid and organic acid or weak acid because it completely does not ionize and sir it has molecules as well as ion so sir first parameters on the basic classification of acid classification of acid first on the basis of source now on the basis of source acid is classified into two parts one is called organic acids and second is called inorganic acid sir organic acids are weak acid because it has molecule size as well as ion i mean to say that it is partially ionized yes, sir when we put weak acid in aqueous solution it does not gives complete hydrogen ion if it is 4 1 if i 3 2 gives 1 i mean to say that if it gets completely ionized it, if it is completely dissociate then a strong acid if it does not completely associate or dissociate or ionize then it is called weak acid so i write partially ionized when partially ionized then it has molecules molecules as well as ion molecules as well as ion so sir on the basis of source acid is classified into 
टू पार्ट टू कैटेगरी द फर्स्ट कैट इज कॉल ऑर्गेनिक एसिड सेकेंड कैटेगरी इज कॉल इनऑर्गेनिक एसिड सो द एसिड विच आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट दे आर कॉल ऑर्गेनिक एसिड प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स दे आर वीक एसिड एंड सर दे आर पार्सले आई आई नॉट कंप्लीटली एन आई एंड सर पार्सले एन आई देन इट हैज मॉलिक्यूल्स एज वेल एज आई एन इट हैज मॉलिक्यूल्स एज वेल एज आई एन सो नाउ एग्जाम्पल लाइक लैक्टिक एसिड लाइक एसिटिक एसिड लाइक सिट्रिक एसिड तो दीज आर वीक एसिड वट मेन बी टॉक अबाउट द इनऑर्गेनिक एसिड दीज आर कॉल अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड दीज आर कॉल अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड आंसर और इनऑर्गेनिक एसिड ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम मिनरल्स ऑर्गेनिक एसिड आर ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट दिस इज कॉल सेकेंड पॉइंट दिस इज कॉल थर्ड पॉइंट fourth point you have to understand the logic so you, all these thing keep in your mind set in your mind ki sir organic acids are obtained from plants and animals organic acids are weak acid organic acid are weak why because it partially ionized not completely ionized not completely dissociated it is a partially dissociated sir when there is a partial dissociation it has molecules as well ion and for the conduction of electricity only ion is required so it will does not conduct And lactic acid, acetic acid, citric acid. These are obtained from plants and animals. Hence, these are called weak acid. Inorganic acids are a strong acid. It is obtained from minerals. It is obtained from minerals. Next point, sir. When there is a strong acid, then there is a complete ionization. Complete ionization. I mean to say that it is completely dissociated. You can write also completely dissociated. It is a partially dissociated. And next very important point that I have discussed, ki sir, it has only ions. It has only ions. Ions means sir, charged particle. Ion means charged particle. Ion means charged particle. It is of two types. One is cation. Second is anion. One is cation and second is anion. Cation is a positive charged particle. Cation is a positive charged particle. And anion is a negative charged particle. So what I say is that acid-based salt is classification of acid on the basis of five parameters. The first parameter that I have to study classification of acid on the basis of source. On the basis of source, acid is classified into two parts. The first is called organic acid. Second is called inorganic acid. Sir, organic acids are those acids which are obtained from plants and animals. Inorganic acids are those acids which are obtained from minerals. Sir, organic acids are weak acid, but inorganic acids are a strong acid. Sir, organic acids are partially ionized, are partially dissociated, but whereas inorganic acids are completely ionized, completely dissociated. For example, sir, it has molecules as well as ion, but it has only ion. For example, HCl, H2SO4. HNO3. These are called the strong acid. Now, second parameters on the basis of on the basis of composition on the basis of composition. Sir, acid is further classified into two parts on the basis of composition. The first it is called a binary acid. What it called a binary acid. And sir, second is called ऑक्सी एसिड या और ऑक्सो एसिड तो सर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एसिड ऑन द सेकेंड पैरामीटर दैट इज कॉल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कंपोजिशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर सर फर्स्ट इज कॉल ऑर्गेनिक एसिड बाइंड्री एसिड एंड सेकेंड इज कॉल ऑक्सो या ऑक्सी एसिड सर हाउ वी कैन एक्सटेंड कि सर वाइंड्री एसिड तो लिसन वेरी केयरफुली वेन आई से एसिड then it has hydrogen mandatory when i say acid then it has hydrogen element mandatory i said you have a studied in computer in your schooling time sir binary means two number 0 1 0 in in engineering field in the electronics field when i say 0 it is off when i say 1 it is called on so binary means two or sir here i mentioned about acid when i say acid when i emphasize acid when i justified acid 
then hydrogen is must hydrogen is must so binary acid means two element out of two element one is hydrogen is mandatory is very essential so if i take the example hcl sir hydrogen is there other element i say hydrogen bromide acid hydrogen one element bromine other element so when i say hcl hbr hi hydrogen iodide acid so sir when i say binary acid then one element is hydrogen other element so only two elements should be there in binary acid hcl hbr hi now second class part of the on the basis of composition acid is called oxy acid sir when i say acid hydrogen element should be there when i say oxo ya oxy then oxygen other element is required and third one is the any one for example h2so4 hno3 h3po4 so i mean to say that ki sir when i say acid then hydrogen is required hydrogen required when i say oxo acid then oxygen is required and other element so it has hydrogen acid ka condition fulfill kiya oxo ya oxy mane oxygen bhi hai aur koi other element so these are called the oxo ya oxy acid this is called sulfuric acid this is called nitric acid this is called phosphoric acid this is called hydrogen iodide acid this is called hydrogen bromide acid and the last that is called hydrochloric acid so now till now we have a study in the classification of a study classification of acid on the basis of different parameters the first i have study on the basis of source and second i have study on the basis of composition now third classification of acid on the basis of not acidity but basicity not on the basis of acidity but basicity so we have to be careful now ki sir when we put an acid in aqueous solution then it gives hydrogen ion this is not called acidity of acid but this is called a basicity of acid what i say when we put an acid in aqueous solution when we put an acid in aqueous solution it gives hydrogen ion this is not called acidity of acid but this is called a basicity of acid when we put an acid in an aqueous solution then it liberates then it gives out yeah liberates hydrogen ion this is called this is called basicity of acid not acidity of acid just reverse basicity of acid for example hcl when we put in water h2so4 when i put in water so sir hydrogen will dissociate like this way hydrogen will dissociate like this way so i mean to say that if one hydrogen it gives out then it's called monobasic two hydrogen it gives out dibasic three hydrogen gives out tribasic so sir we have a study the classification of acid on different parameters till now we have a study on the basis of three parameter the first on the basis of source second on the basis of composition third is called on the basis of basicity sir on the basis of source acid classified into two parts organic acid second inorganic acid sir organic acids are obtained from organic acids are obtained from plants and animals obtained from plants and animals so it is called as organic acid and sir organic acids are weak acid organic acids are partially ionized sir it has molecules as well iron example lactic acidic citric malic anyone formic sir inorganic acids are a strong acid it is obtained from minerals sir it has complete ionization takes place so it has only iron example hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid hno3 nitric acid second parameter on the basis of composition acid is classified into two parts the first is called binary acid that has two element one is hydrogen mandatory according to acid and second other element like hydrochloric acid like hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide when i say oxo ya oxy acid 
when acid then hydrogen is mandatory hydrogen mandatory when i say oxo oxy oxygen is required or any other element so this is sulfuric acid this is nitric acid this is phosphoric acid now third parameter on the basis of basicity when i say when we put an acid in aqueous solution it gives out hydrogen plus ion this is called not acid of acidity but this is called basicity of acid if it gives one hydrogen ion mono basic two hydrogen ion dibasic three hydrogen tribasic four hydrogen ion tetra so so on now i use the word one ion sir ion it is called charged particle it is of two types one is the cation second is the anion sir cation is positive charged particle anion is negative charged particle now fourth parameter on the basis of a strength it's a very simple one that i've already discussed but on the basis of a strength sir on the basis of a strength acid is classified into two parts one is called a strong acid so i have already discussed in organic inorganic acid ki sir organic a strong acid sir completely and i when we put an acid in aqueous solution or sir weak acid are complete incompletely i mean partially ionized when we put an acid in aqueous solution so weak acid a strong acid i have discussed and we say sir a strong acid are or inorganic acid and weak acid are organic acid and fifth parameter that i have to discuss on the basis of concentration on the basis of concentration sir when the amount of acid is more when the amount of acid is more and water is less when amount of acid is more as compared to water that is called as a concentrated acid that is called as a concentrated acid and when the amount of water is more as compared to acid when amount of water is more as compared to acid that is called diluted acid when i say diluted so till now we have classified the acid on the basis of five parameters the first on the basis of source on the basis of source second on the basis of composition third on the basis of basicity fourth on the basis of strength and the last but not least that is called on the basis of concentration ki sir the amount of acid is more as compared to water it is called concentrated acid and the amount of water is more as compared to acid that is called diluted acid so aaj ke liye yahan tak rakhte hain agar kisi ko abhi doubt hai friend any doubt then you can rectify otherwise you take the screenshot and these are the very very important this is called the corollary this is called the gist of the acid base and salt so the next topic that i will discuss on the later on the name of the topic it is called as a source of acid and the very important topic of the acid called aquaregia and the last topic that i will discuss what are the application what are the uses of acid in our daily life and the last topic what are the chemical properties of acid to aaj bar yahan rakhte hain tab tak ke liye adab jai hind ram ram